Well, good morning, everyone. And let me formally open the 82nd meeting of the National Advisory Council for Human Genome Research. It's good to see all of you. We have uh, a busy, but I think interesting and important open session ahead of ourselves for the rest of the day. Um, let me uh, pause for a minute and immediately point out that um, sitting to my left is not our usual e Executive Secretary, Rudy Pizzotti. Um, a family situation arose at the last minute that precludes Rudy from being here in person. Uh, the good news is NHGRI has a deep bench of, of excellent people that can step in and substitute on short notice, and one of those is Dr. Betty Graham. And so, and the six places on the open session agenda where you see the name Rudy Pizzotti, uh, just substitute Betty Graham, because she will be uh, leading us through some important steps along the way. Um, and uh, with that, I think I will turn this over, in fact, to Betty to deal with some immediate business. Good morning. I would like to welcome everybody to the 82nd meeting of the National Advisory Council for Human Genome Research. Uh, I want to thank all of the council members for being here. Uh, I know it's been on again, off again, but we are finally here, and so we will do the business. Um, first, I would like to introduce two new council members. The first is Dr. Wendy Chung. She is the Kennedy Family Professor of Pediatrics and Medicine at Columbia University and a member of the Institute of Genomic Medicine. She is board certified in clinical genetics and clinical molecular genetics and genomics. Wendy serves as the director of the Clinical Cancer Genetics Program, the co-director of the Molecular Genetics Diagnostic Lab at Columbia University, and supervises medical education and human genetics for the Columbia Medical School. Dr. Chung's research interests have focused on the mapping and characterization of genetic variants involved in the development of both complex diseases and mammalian traits. She has studied multiple phenotypes, including congenital di diaphragmatic hernia, congenital cardiac malformations, cardiac arrhythmias, obesity, type 2 diabetes, and breast and pancreatic cancer. She has also developed mouse model systems to study the role of variants in diabetes and obesity. Dr. Chung has served on multiple advisory boards and working groups, some of which are near and dear to NHGRI, including the Institute of Medicine's Advisory Group on Genetic Testing, the Von Hippel-Landau Alliance Research Council, Regeneron Genetics Scientific Advisory Board, the eMERGE External Advisory Board, the Hastings Center Advisory Council, she is a member of the councils of our councils, Gen Genomics and Society Working Group, and she serves as the Director of Clinical Research for the Simons Foundation. Dr. Chung has served as a reviewer for multiple scientific journals, including the Journal of the American Medical Association, the New England Journal of Medicine, the Proceedings of the National Academy of Science, and the American Journal of Human Genetics. She has a very successful funding track record, including six current grants from NIH. In addition to serving on multiple peer review panels for NIH, she also served as a working on, the, on a working group of the Board of Scientific Counselors for the National Center for Biotechnology Information, which is located at NLM. Welcome, Wendy. Dr. Steve Fodor is the Chief Executive Officer and one of the founders of the company 13.8 Incorporated. We want to hear more about 13.8. Prior to his current position at 13.8, he held positions as Chief Executive Officer at Cellular Research, Inc. from 2015 to the present, and before that, he was Founder and Chief Executive Officer of Affirmetrics. Dr. Fodor has served on multiple advisory boards for companies and institutions, including Enscopic Inc., Moleculo, the College of Chemistry at the University of California, Berkeley, Howard Hughes Medical Institute Janela Farms Research Campus, the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, the Grand Challenges Exploration. He has served on the board of directors of the following organizations the American Association for the Advancement of Science, 
Carnegie Institute for Science, Appometrics Inc., Immunometrics, Cellular Research Inc., Perlogen Sciences, Sunesis Pharmaceuticals, Keystone Symposium. Dr. Foda holds over 130 U.S. and European patents. Welcome, Steve. We also have with us liaisons from several professional organizations. Uh, viewing on webcast is Ellen Giarelli from the International Society of Nurses and Genetics. And here with us are Monica, Mona Miller from the American Society of Human Genetics and Rhonda Schoenberg from the National Society of Genetic Counselors. Welcome, everyone. So the next thing is we would like to like you to approve the minutes of the last meeting in September. You will note that the format of the minutes is different from previous minutes. The content is the same, but the, uh, the format is shorter because there are lots of hyperlinks and less narrative, making for a shorter and more readable document. I hope you have read the minutes and I would like someone to make a motion to accept the minutes. Those in favor? Those abstaining? Uh, those against? So the motion carries. Please note that you have future meeting dates listed uh, through September 2019. Uh, we hope that you would ink these in on your calendars, and if you find that you have a conflict at some point, as soon as possible, please let Rudy or me know. Uh, we value your input, and it's very important for you to uh, participate in our meetings. Uh, I would like to turn the meeting over to Eric now, who has two uh, very important presentations, one the director's report, and the other one having to do with um, the strategic planning for the future. Eric? 